Hey guys and girls, so the following uh, videos will be looking at Python. I'm going to show you some of the basics. Uh, you can choose which videos you watch. So, for instance, if you're looking for some information on lists or how to do lists, watch the list video. Otherwise, follow along in sequence and you should be able to pick up some of the basics of this uh, coding language. Uh, remember to subscribe, like and share. Hey guys and girls, I'm going to be showing you some basics of Python. I'm using the standard Python Idle. You can get some other uh, better editors such as PyCharm, but I'm going to stick with the Idle for this video series. Uh, we'll show you how to use PyCharm at a later date and the benefits of using an editor such as that. We're going to start off by importing some modules. Modules are pre-built elements that you can import into Python and help you do different things. For instance, import random is a random number generator. We could import sys, uh, import OS. Uh, import OS, for example, lets you interact with the uh, operating system, whether it be Mac, Windows, Linux. Okay, so something quite useful, and we'll cover some of that stuff later. So the first thing you're going to want to know how to do is to display things on screen. So we're going to use the print command, and you need parentheses and speech marks. They can be single or double. They both work in the same way. And we can just put the standard and classic hello world. Okay, so we've got a print command with a string inside. A string can be made up of letters or numbers. Um, and let's see how this works. So run, just run it. We can run it here or we can press F5. It will ask you to save it. Okay, and there we go. See, hello world. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a comment in. And comments are good because the uh, interpreter won't run, run it and won't recognize it as code. But it will give software engineers or coders, programmers, um, information about the code you're writing. So it's always good practice to comment your code. So, for instance, uh, hashtag this is a print statement. Uh, okay, so. There we go, that's it, it's simple. The next thing we're gonna do is you might wanna do a multi-line comment. Multi-line comments um, just helps keep things a little bit neater, so rather than having a, a long comment that spans uh, the width of your, your window, we can just put in a multi-line comment. And to do that, we use three single quotations, and then just write your multi-line comment. Multi line comment, okay, and just finish off with three, uh, three single quotations, okay. So there's multi line comment. Uh, we're going to create a variable. Uh, variables are like boxes that store things, so you can put different things in, different data types. You could put strings, uh, numbers, for example. So I'm just going to create a, a variable called name, and inside that I'm just going to put my uh, my channel name, so channel name being teacher of computing. Okay, there we go. Um, you can reassign values of names, so at the moment that is teacher of computing, and later on we could re jig this to contain a number. So if put my age, for example. There we go. So if we want to print this out after name equals my channel name, we could uh, put in print, open the parentheses, and just put the name of the variable, which is name. So let's run that. Hello world, teacher of computing. OK. So let's see if it did reassign. And to do that, all you do is print. And again, name, and let's save and run. Ooh. So as you can see, that didn't work. And it's because I'm an idiot, and I've put in equals. I'm not assigning anything. I'm printing a variable. So print name. Ah. OK, let's run that and see what happens. There we go. So it's reassigned it and it's 
working. So you can see down, you can see that we've now got Hello World, and it's printed the first uh, teacher of computing because it's been assigned. It's then reassigned the value to the number thirty-two, and we've printed it out again. So as you can see, uh, print statements uh, quite easy to use. We're going to be talking about some data types over the next few lessons and we're going to be looking at the five main data types and they are number, uh, lists, strings, uh, tuples, dictionaries um, or maps. You might refer to them as maps or heard them called maps before. So that's what we're going to be covering. I uh, hope you found that useful. Uh, come back and have a look at the other videos and remember to subscribe, like and share.